Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Hi art friends! Hello art friendos! We are back. Recently we did an Artex markers versus a Huhu pastel markers and everyone was saying it wasn't a very fair comparison. Were they? Because the Uhuhu markers were brush markers and the Artex ones were not. That's your problem! So, we have had a very kind subscriber who Ooh. has sent us some of the Artex brush markers. Yeah, so to all those people, shut up! <laughs> this was sent to us from Alex. Thank you, Alex. That's very sweet. Really appreciate that. So, so you guys have helped me through some rough times, so thank you so much and I hope you will. Oh, that's very sweet. Get better thank for you. you, that's so kind. We've also got some Uhuhu markers that we've never shown on the <gasps> channel. So we have got some skin tone ones that have been sent from Ooh. our friend Berglund. <gasps> thank you, Berglund. And these were sent by a subscriber called The Lemon Wedge. Oh, Lemon Wedge, thank you. God, we are drowning in markers. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, we have got so many new markers to be showing you, which it feels almost like it's now an unfair comparison because we've only got 12 of these and we've Give got... How many other of these? 72 <laughs> versus 12. An honest comparison. <laughs> The skin tone ones are probably going to be the fairest comparison to these. Oh, okay. Because they're in sort of like a yellowy, warmy kind of hue. This Artex box, it has come with the swatching oh. sheet, <laughs> which you know your girl's going to do. Oh. It also came with a postcard, with the art. a postcard with like their art on it. It's also come with these stickers. I like that. I really like these. Oh, the ones with the poachers and the swords. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh my god, lads. It's swatch time. So that took me a while. Bloody ages. <laughs> Look how many things there are. Oh my god, I was going nuts waiting for you to finish. Anyway, I wanted to quickly mention these colours. So I think it ends up being a somewhat fair comparison because we've got some of these same colours from the skin tone set on like this side. Ooh. And then on the other side, what I didn't realise is that this colour palette actually has a few warm and cool greys. And since we've got like the oh, nice. cool greys in this, it ended up being like the perfect comparison between like the oh, two. Oh, we love to see it. That's great. <laughs> one other little mystery surprise that we have got for this video is from one of our subscribers called Kirsten. Kirsten, yeah. And they sent this like a while ago, along with a wood burning kit. We are having a heat wave in the UK at the moment, so I was thinking we might have to hold off on wood burning. Maybe what burning? It's like it's, colder. It's good for winter. But <laughs> they have sent us a mystery Laura. Shout out to all the mystery Lauras out there. <laughs> I was thinking we could do a mystery Laura unboxing and then I can draw mystery oh. Laura in this one because the last one we had Cat Hoo Hoo and Pertex. Pertex. So let's get. Yeah, one. let's open it. Yeah. yeah, is that okay? Are we going to draw mystery Laura? Yeah, we've got a Laura pole fight. So let's find out which pole fight Laura we're going to have. <laughs> Okay, we've got some kind of like a stand and a megaphone. Okay. Oh, oh, and there is a Laura. Hey, that's the Laura that's on the box. That's, that's the box, Laura. That wasn't much of a <laughs> that's mystery. That's not a mystery at all. <laughs> there we go. We got a mystery Laura who is actually the Laura who was advertised on the box. Here's Laura. She is uh, ginger. She likes ducks. It's cute though. It's a cute design. I do like how it looks. Here is all of the Lauras that you could win. We have, we don't have Baywatch Girl. We don't. Uh, uh, Oh wait a second, there's Rainbow Unicorn, but that's not her. Yeah, I can't find her in that list. She's at the so front. Is she the mystery one? No, that one's got like a super soaker. I don't know who that is. Who are you, Laura? Is, <laughs> is that the mystery? Is that she's not on the box? Who are you? Well, she's on the front of the box. What up, Sketch Mama? Okay, good news, everyone. I have found out the name of our mystery Laura. Oh, good. Which I'm starting to think it might actually be the one that's classed as secret. It's not, because the secret one's holding a super soaker. It's so obvious. I know the hairstyle, like, the silhouette's completely different. But anyway, I found the <laughs> name of it. It says it's Vigorous Rainbow. I have been uh, sketching. Oh, yeah, I haven't I'll seen yours yet. Mystery Laura. What's it? Oh, that's I like that. See, you're clever and you always do like a symmetrical one so you can compare the <laughs> yeah, markers really like... well. Me, on the other hand, I'm just like, oh, that's a cute pose. I'll draw this. So I've had to do like an awkward diagonal <laughs> line down mine, but I, uh, 
I think we can make it work. I think I, but then again, when do I ever follow the rules with these things? I have to draw my I have diagonal like not, well, mine's not diagonal. Yours is right, vertical. Vertical, yeah. yeah. I have to draw mine like two or three times because at first it was like way too off center. And I was like, that wouldn't be a fair comparison if it was like all <laughs> the of The Ahuhu line's just a tiny little thing. Like, mm, this is nice and fair. And I do also feel like Ahuhu give you like the nicer like <gasps> cardstock to swatch on compared to... The Artex one does feel a bit more like papery. And Ahuhu didn't give us extra stickers as well, so... Boo! Boo hoo hoo! <laughs> Boo hoo hoo! Right, I've got me the Artex markers here. I want to try these first because these are like, I guess they're meant to be like the star oh, of the show. the magnet on the box. Oh yeah. This is one of my favourite parts and he always forgets to show it. Oh yeah, that's satisfying. Ooh, that's a good magnet, look at that. <laughs> oh, you can't post the cap. Naughty. Oh, does it not stick on the end? Nope, you can't. <gasps> does the cloud pattern prevent it? It does. They smell good though. Don't don't sniff markers. Okay, let's give it a shot, shall we? Have you decided which Ooh, half is? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, first impression is good, pretty good actually, you know. The tips, I guess you could call them, the brush tips themselves are quite firm and stiff, which I quite like. I'm not sure if Steph will be as much of a fan as I am, but I think that is uh, quite nice so far, personally. While I was like swatching them, I thought that the brush tips were a lot nicer than the other ones that we'd been using. The, one, the um, ones with the bullet tips on yeah, them. The yeah, tips. I agree. These do feel better than those, absolutely. Though, I've never been much of a fan, and quite a few of you guys in the comments in the previous video said the same. You're not too much of a fan of bullet tip ones, and I'm 100% on board with that. I am exactly the same. I, I don't like bullet tip ones. With a brush tip like this, for example, it has a really fine tip, so you can come in and do your little like fine details, and then you can also press down and get like a really big yeah, chunky. Yeah, it's just really useful for like It's so thing. good, yeah. It's like um, a tip that you can use for literally everything. Whereas I feel bullet tips, um, especially if you do more intricate work or draw small, like how Steph does, for example, uh, you kind of get stuck in a rut with those because they're just so big and chunky. What's your opinion on the chisel tip? Oh, I, I just hate chisel tips as well. We'll try doing some skin now on, uh, on our wee Laura. I've got Laura over here and she's quite barley beige looking to me, so let's whack some of the barley beige on her. Yep, so there's a hoo-hoo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there's, there's the hoo-hoo as well, so we'll use that as a comparison. Thank you, dear. It'll be interesting to see them like side by side. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now I might do what I've done in previous uh, pictures where I'm just going to pick out the highlights and leave those white. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like that might be the best bit. We'll have like a little like a cheek bit there, I guess, and then bring this one. I have to remember to use the line, my horrible diagonal. What was I thinking? Mm. Oh, I've just colored over the white thing that I left. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so focused on that line. Because we're layering in some big areas now, uh, I'm very impressed with it. It's gone down so smooth, it's not streaky, it hasn't left like lines or anything like that. I'm very impressed with it so far. Look at that. It'll be interesting to see which one we, we like best at the end of this. <sighs> Oh, I don't know, a hoo hoo brush ones have always been really up there. They're cheap, they're good. Artex, pay close attention here. Oh, look at that's so handy. For the sake of aesthetics, oh my god, I'm not gonna lose a cat. The Artex one is really cute, it looks like little clouds. I don't care. We live in England, if you wanna see clouds, you just gotta look out a window. Okay, so barley beige, a hoo hoo on the right as well. Oh, the colour. Well, am I the one to rightfully make a comment on this? I would say the colour is similar, but not exact. Yeah, they're a lot more similar than what I was expecting them to be, considering the completely different brands. Yeah, there's a, there's a, a noticeable difference. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. I don't know, and the Yahoo, again, we've commented on this before, the Yahoo tip is softer. And bear in mind as well, both these sets are new this time. They're brand spanking new, yeah, never been used. In the, in, in the interest of fairness, shall we say. So it depends on like what your own personal preferences are in a brush nib, if you prefer something that's like stiffer. Stiffer you want Artex, yeah. softer you want to go a hoo hoo. The Artex to me looks warmer and the hoo hoo looks cooler, at least in these two. 
I keep it like instinctively going to color other areas, but I need to stay. I know, that's one of the problems with doing this. Is there an orange that you want me to try? We do have like this really bright orangey one up here. Oh, I would say that's probably the but closest to I think to this. maybe this one might be Salmon? Closer. I normally associate salmon with pink. Yeah, I'd associate it as more of like a pinky ready color. We can give it a try. Oh, now this, again, this looks uh, lighter to me this time. I might need Steph's help identifying that to me. Those <laughs> are, I mean, look at that to me. Those are very, very similar. Oh my God. One of the things as well that um, we mentioned in a previous one, but with the Artex ones, they don't actually list the color anywhere on like the barrel. Boo! So you do kind of need this with you at all times so that you know. And I don't even swatch things. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> One of the sort of uh, iffy things about the Ahuhus that I wanted to sort of not is uh, see this colour in this bottom corner here. It says black brown. Yeah, but that's like a very like peachy. That's flashy neither black colour. or brown. Maybe that's like a printing error. Mind you, even the code is BR two oh eight. So ignore that one. We can just <laughs> we'll just cut that one out. Okay, I've already noticed I've accidentally went over here on this side, so bear that in mind in our final comparisons that I've been naughty, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I always feel like I have to line mine after I've done some colors because I feel like it looks really bad. So I have to like add some colors first, otherwise I just freak out and I'm like, oh no, it looks terrible. Oh, yours is starting to look a bit like a uh, Misty from Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. I'll, I'll accept that. That's nice. I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm doing it on the wrong side. God damn it. <laughs> It's just because it's so hard because normally like obviously when we do market comparisons We do a lot of videos in between them normally and it's like I'm so used to just working on a picture and just coloring it in without thinking about this stupid line <laughs> <laughs> All right, you it's decision time and I have to admit I prefer the Yahoo's you know why? How come? I prefer the softer brush nib mm -hmm. and I prefer the cooler look of the colors. Oh, interesting. I feel like the Artex ones, personally, are a little bit too saturated for me. But bear in mind, we were working with only 12 colors from like an artist curated color palette. There might be like other cooler colors out there. I don't care. This is my first <laughs> impression. <laughs> <laughs> my first impression is that, and I, I can't change it because we don't have any others. One of the things that I feel like is always going to sort of sway me towards a hoo hoo is this. So useful, the amount of times I have ruined sketchbook pages from like bleed through, because look at all that marker that's coming through. Not on this side, thanks to this thing. Hun, so hun. We're supposed to be comparing brush pens. <laughs> You, well, that's you one can, of the things you that's can love your little protector all you want. That's I, a I chisel end. It. <laughs> no, I wanted to double check that it doesn't fit on this, but it doesn't. Oof. I can't put my finger fully on it. There's something about like the way that even like the markers feel themselves. The Artex ones feel like a, a little bit of like a cheaper. Yeah, that's yeah, plastic. I agree. Yeah. They've also got like the color names still on them, which is like helpful for like Adam, and you can obviously also do this. So, the magic of like posting a cap. That's only been around for like a hundred years. <laughs> but I will say, I think a hoo hoo have won by like a smidgen this time. And if you're on the fence about getting like Artex markers, I'd definitely get the brush ones over the definitely. chisel nib yes, ones. Yes. And if you haven't seen our chisel nib one, make sure you check that out next. Yeah, go see it right now. Be sure to check out the previous Artex versus a hoo hoo video on screen if you haven't seen that yet. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can see you next time for another doodle dig. Doodle dig.